Hello everyone and welcome. We are back in the Goblin Cave's High Roller, Wipe 3. I'm on my fighter. I'm currently level 12 or 13, I think. Uh, I've already gotten my wizard and my bard to level 15, and now I'm just leveling up uh, my fighter. I've actually brought a longsword in. Got it on the last run. I was planning on doing a little longsword practice uh, while I was in here. Uh, it didn't really work out that way. I ended up tossing it out of the way pretty quickly. Um, I'm just no good with the longsword. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, my thoughts on Wipe 3, the new patch, some of the news around Dark and Darker. been playing a hell of a lot of it over the last weekend, uh, and I'm having a grand old time. The, uh, the map changes are kind of a bummer to me. I really like the player agency, the choice to be able to play the map that you want to play. But when the quest system isn't forcing you into maps you don't want to run, it, it's not as bad. Now, when the quests start, like, uh, gatekeeping gold gear behind lich kills and shit like that, I think it's going to be a big bummer. Uh, but we have to look forward to that in future chapters. Uh, so the quest system has been changed so that we get a little trickle of quests uh, every period. Uh, and right now we're in the first one, and they're really easily attainable. Definitely should do them. Uh, easy and fun. That's pretty much the best parry I'm going to pull off, I think today. So set your expectations really low here for my longsword use. Um, you know, if I'm concerned about anything at this point, I'm really concerned about the stealth reintroduction of the plus two all, plus three all uh, meta. I mean, the game was at its worst when that was really in the game, uh, and now we're bending over backwards to put that kind of stat gap back into Dark and Darker, and I'm concerned about the end game state um, I think Ryan Six Days a Week said it best when he said that what they've done is they've increased the gear disparity between nothing and mid-gear. And they've decreased it at the upper end. And uh, we'll just have to see about that. Uh, right now I'm just cautiously optimistic. But I hear a fighter out here. He's clanking around in heavy boots. Uh, he's already got a pot up. I miss with both my axes. What you doing, buddy? Falchion. I got a falchion. I hit him in the leg, he hit me in the arm. Try the longsword for a bit here. Oh, I got a partial parry. There's a repost. Chest, I believe. And a stab, and I'm pretty low. Time for second wind. Not really sure why he's throwing torches at me. I'm trying to bait out a swing. That was my discord, not yours. And oh, he bows to me. Out of respect for my superior fightering, I guess. I don't know. I think I had run over a corpse, so I think he was just in another fight. Um, he hadn't even had a chance to loot him, I think. But he heard me through the door. He proactively popped a blue pot, which is, of course, the right thing to do. Uh, he didn't really have a whole lot. But let's go pick up my frannies. And then we're going to go back and search his kill, too. But yeah, I'm enjoying pretty much every, the, all, every one of the classes that I've played so far, which is, you know, Bard and Fighter and um, Wizard. Uh, I'm enjoying them to varying degrees. Uh, the Bard, as I've said before, is quite fussy, uh, but we're getting some pretty good results with it in threes. I haven't been running a lot of solos or duos with it, um, but I think it's going to be strong. It's... Uh, the wizard is obviously in a fantastic spot right now, uh, as is the fighter. And if you go into a goblin caves, uh, particularly a white lobby, which might as well just be deathmatch at this point, uh, it is such a bloodbath. With the new condensed goblin caves, like you will get double teamed, triple teamed, fourth partied, all of it really fast. So in the back of my mind here, I'm really looking for a reset, but I don't have a fire. The guy I killed didn't have a fire. Uh, but I'm already worried that somebody heard the fight go down and they're just laying in wait for me, like around the corner. So I'm a little nervous right now, but I am making my way back over here to this corpse to check on what he's got. Yeah, I mean, the wizard feels really strong. Uh, the perk changes that they made are uh, really, really good. Uh, I think that they're uh, c competitive now, even at kind of lower gear levels, where before they really required a nice gear budget to really make them shine. Oh my goodness, this guy does have fires for me. That's really good news. I'll get a full reset off with these guys. Thank you, thank you. 
And uh, yeah, so the the wizard feels really good. The uh, the bard, I, I think I've just got old man hands or something. Like it's it's a lot. It's pretty fussy, and I'm trying to make the most out of it. But I'm just I'm slowly feeling myself, uh, you know, say, you know what? It's okay if two people don't have the buff at one of these buffs right now. I'll just buff up right before a fight and kind of not worry about maintaining 100% uptime. Uh, but basically, the fighter's in a really strong spot. The wizard's, wizard's in a really strong spot. It, the most surprising build I've actually run into is I, I ran into a guy playing Zero Spell Warlock, and he destroyed me, and I feel like I played it right. Uh, but he was running a Chris Dagger, super light armor. He had a lot of movement speed, uh, and he was running Phantom Eyes and Blow of Corruption. And basically, uh, he was playing just like a better rogue, uh, and he was super mobile. He disengaged from any fight he wanted with Phantom Eyes, and he could do a surprise amount of burst damage with Blow of Corruption and Chris Dagger. Uh, it definitely caught me off guard, and it killed me in, you know, uh, I think I was running Slayer Fighter at the time. Uh, so, yeah, that was a big surprise. Uh, but overall, the patch is really solid. Let's uh, congratulate Iron Mace on the Squire system. I don't think they've kind of pushed it to its full potential yet. And I say that because um, there's still a lot of classes that have builds that are kind of locked behind a certain stat budget, particularly Knowledge, and I'm really looking at, you know, Cleric, uh, Wizard, and Warlock, um, particularly in the, like, white gear lobbies. Uh, they don't have enough access to some of the Knowledge that they need to be able to, you know, run the spells that they want to run. Um, and I see the evolution of the system. Uh, going in the right direction. Uh, I'm very happy with the Squire as it is right now. It's a fantastic change. It lets you get out of the lobby and back into the game with as little fuss and bother as possible. This is in the same direction as the changes they've made to the uh, marketplace and the auction house. It, it's just diminishing the amount of nonsense we have to do to get back into the fun central gameplay loop. Uh, and they're definitely taking the, the game in the right direction with both of those changes. So big kudos for both the Squire system uh, and the new auction house. It makes, you know, shopping for gear, getting equipped for your next run, not a big deal. All right, so it looks like we've got a, another fighter here. Hit him with the opening crossbow bolt. Let's see what he does next. Uh, oh, yeah, he's whipped out a survival bow. I hit him with the second crossbow bolt. He hit me twice with the survival bow. It's really more of a harassment weapon than anything. I want to pop second wind and sprint. And he pulls up the long sword. I go under. I go under. I go under. I go right in his arm. And then he's down. So I see a lot of new players out here. I think that guy was pretty new. I see a lot of new players, uh, and that's a good thing. And Iron Mace, uh, over the weekend, they did announce that they are going to be bringing this to the Epic Games storefront. I'm glad for them that they feel like they're in a position to do that. I hate that it's the Epic Game storefront because of their anti-competitive uh, practices, their exclusivity, their, for whatever reason, wanting to pick a fight with uh, Steam. Uh, so I'm glad that they're going to get the marketing exposure. I will not be migrating my account to the Epic Game storefront uh, for protest. Uh, it's Steam, Ride or Die uh, for me, but uh, I'm excited that they think that they're in a good spot to be able to do that. Let's see how they're able to manage the game here after the first couple weeks. Um, I'm real concerned about the the stat bloat, um, the amount of stats we're going to have access to you know, when we're able to fully gear ourselves over the course of the next week or two, but also when they start layering the gold gear back in. Um, I think it's going to push the plus all stat meta into the same really, really bad place it was earlier. Now, I keep checking out this uh, the the square with uh, the undead behind the gates over there because I'm, I'm sure I heard a portal open, and I'm getting real nervous that I'm not going to have a portal, so I'm looking around pretty frantically at this point, uh, concerned that I'm not going to get one. Uh, you know, this, it's always a bummer to get you know two kills and have a successful run of goblin caves and then not find a way out. I keep looking, trying to check all the corners. I don't see anything. And I can tell that the last one is going to spawn down there in the middle of all this undead and the traps and that's... Oh, don't have to worry about it. Better to be lucky than good. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having as much fun with uh, the new wipe as I am. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It helps me a ton, and good fortune to you in your raids to come. Kuba out.